All right. Here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping. This is not that, man. Pressed X to Jason. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Emerald Alley, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Sorry I couldn't stay for longer in your chat in your uh, in your stream. I just I was on my phone and then we were have to we had to go and you know, you know how things are. Oh gosh, sorry. That game looked amazing. That was really it was really somewhat upsetting to me that, uh, to find out it was an exclusive. I'm sorry. Me too. That game looked, uh, seriously, looked incredible. Infamous. Alright. I have to kind of change my mood here. This is not, this is not Batman. Let's see. Yeah, it looks amazing. Is Prototype anything like it? And is Prototype a freaking exclusive? Because Infamous is basically... I mean, I know you're talking about the... Uh, Speed or two to three games that were originally on all five. Oh, that's awesome. Is multi-platform. Okay, but are they similar in some way? Because Infamous seems like the one that's kind of more like a sort of superhero game-ish. Prototype on PC and consoles. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. One and two. Oh, gosh darn it! Similarities aren't really there. They're both games about average guys getting superpowers. Yeah, gosh. But that, I just, I mean... What you were doing with that girl, she was zooming around in like a... Flash and neon. I was like, I want to be able to do that. I want to control that. That sounds awesome. That's the end of the simulator as far as I'm concerned. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what I'm. What am I doing here? Talk to the girl at the Oxford base. That sounds like something to do. Remember what's going on. I'm getting shot at. Let's see if I can remember how to move in this game. Go that way, here we go. Controls mid to minute gameplay and the, the look, the feel of the game, the story, the tone, it's all markedly different between pro prototype and infamous. Huh. I would I would wager that you prefer infamous, yes. Would that be correct? Would I be correct in wagering? Now speaking of wagering, one of the uh one of the uh Chat semi-regulars, one of our mods, uh, created a bot. Created a bot. Yeah, that game looks amazing. Prototype is okay. Okay. Prototype is like your super killing machine mutant who can consume humans and tear them apart. Wow. That's a lot of ways. 100,500 ways. Whew. Are they both, do they both have the kind of like you can be a good guy or a bad guy element based on what you choose in your life? Because that's interesting. I like the idea you can be a bad superhero, a good superhero. There's no way to be nice in superhero. Oh, I mean in uh, prototype. Interesting. Well, that is a difference then. Yeah, the story and uh, graphical element. Do they still call them graphics? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> that's how, how long I've been out of gaming. Good or bad, it's about infamous. Gotcha. Goodness gracious. Yeah, infamous looks amazing. But I do not have a PlayStation. So that is kind of the end of that, unfortunately. Unless I can convince someone to let me stream from their PlayStation. That where we're going? That's where we're going. 
No, uh, it's the only one from which I can... I mean, I have a Mac, and I have OBS on it, and I did one stream, but I didn't do it with the chat overlay. I haven't gotten that set up. The only thing I've successfully streamed with, streamed from with chat is Xbox 360. Now, I also have... Not 360, sorry. Um, what is that called? I'm sorry, just one second. Sex Burger. Okay, I was... Just making absolutely, triply sure. Second Son is great, but it's PS4 exclusive. Got one. It's great. Sounds good. My only gaming... Pl uh, it is not my only gl gaming platform, it's, but as I as I said, it's maybe my best, easiest option for streaming right now. Um, I have a 360, I have a PS4, I have a Super Nintendo. I think that's about it. And I would love to stream some of that... Uh, did I say PS4? I said P. I meant PS2. <laughs> 360, PS2, Super Nintendo. That's what I've got. Second Son is a good game. Very cutscene heavy. Makes for an awkward speed run. Yeah. The Second Son, the one you were playing just now? I think I... I don't think I know the subtitles yet. Oh, the Oxford's base. That's what this is. hi -o. That was first light. Yeah, that looked amazing. That just Be looked unbelievable. Out there. It's dangerous. And I don't want to lose you. And it sounded like you were saying it's kind of uh not exactly a DLC. Or is it a DLC? My name is Forkin. Hey, sorry about the whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troop Master Norton is a bad guy. Gotcha. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troop Master Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A uh, genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. Wait a we'll second. You mean, I'll find him. So Wait a second. to stay here and comfort for Kim. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. I haven't played it. Hold on a second. I did this last time. Are they going to make me redo this? What, did I not save or something? What in the world happened? Give me a break. deal with the hot dog factory? If you're trying to survive the apocalypse, hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. Troop Master Brill Cream is a master at boosting morale. Crash Bandicoot, pretty sweet. This is, this is mildly, uh... At least mildly inconvenient. And and has a little more than mildly irritating. Better to eat processed pig lips and assholes. I'm sure that's healthy. Can't stay for long since I work tomorrow. Hey, Dumbs. Yeah, I should okay, not stay for long either. But good to see you, man. For signs of Troop Master uh, I didn't... Scabs. Ooh, looks like they decided to upgrade their arsenal. I... Where did they get those weapons? I guess? Golly, maybe. I mean, I got... I did one part of it, and then I figured it would save that element that I achieved. I'm supposed to like get, I'm supposed to gather evidence. So I've got a stream of myself doing that. I could, I have no idea where it is anymore. I could go. I mean, I know where the video is. I don't know where the evidence is. I could check it out. And Chet. You should know what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah, one would assume. <laughs> Evidence collected. All right, let's see. Let's see. There was one back here. I think you're a bicycle. I have to kill these dudes first. Hey, someone's shooting at me. Someone's shooting at me. What else is shooting at me? Alright, I gotta get rid of these guys first. PS1. PS2 Crash Bandicoot is trash, but PS1 from Naughty Dog is brilliant. Interesting. I've heard of it, certainly. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge fan, or I'm becoming a very big fan of Rare in general. I, I was always aware of them. But the uh, Rare Replay I've got, it's got 30 games. Pretty much all of them are amazing, and many of them I was not aware of. Of course, you've got Battletoads and stuff like that, but there's one called Grab by the Ghoulies, which is amazing. Um, just everything. I mean, they're incredibly inventive. Uh, I mention that just because Crash Bandicoot phonetically reminds me of uh, 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 Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> but uh, I haven't played much of that either. Hey, don't shoot at me. Where's that coming from? What is it, uh, what is it that makes it brilliant? Writing, gameplay, yes and yes, all of the above? Aha! Gosh, I got it. A lot of the early rare replay games look like they influenced procedural dungeon crawls like Binding of Isaac, which I've been seeing all over the place, but I haven't I mean I've seen that name. But I have not played it, nor have I seen it be played. To my knowledge. That's a good thing. Oh good. Alright, let's keep going. This way. No, no, I gotta be inside. So we're looking for these, goodness gracious, we're looking for these uh, pieces of evidence of the uh, existence of this dude. I have a PS4, I haven't played it yet myself, but I've watched a lot of it. Xbox One, you could get it. Perfect level design, great characters, and so good gameplay. Interesting. Plus, it introduced the world to the Bandicoot, kind of. Or a large amount of the world. Oh, where is everything? Do they move everything around? Maybe there's one. There we go. There's a samurai sword. That was the first one I found last time. Ah, found a Japanese sword. Not something a troop leader would have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. seems weird, doesn't it? But it could be Brill Creeps. He never went anywhere without it. So they're all enveloped in blue flickering flame. Which would seem to help it stand out quite a bit in the environment, but you gotta get near it. You're talking about binding of, binding of Isaac there? I've got 800 plus hours in both Isaacs and Platinum Trophies in Isaac Eternal Edition and Reborn. Afterborn is trash though. Good to know. There we go. Found a bugle. Now that would only be something a troop leader would have, right? The Binding of Isaac. I wonder... Wait a second, is that like a biblical reference? What's the, uh, what's the premise of that game? Because there's the whole deal with... I don't know, I was raised Catholic, so... Um, there's the old... Abraham was asked to bind and sacrifice his son. It is! Interesting. Well, meantime, 